Hi everyone and welcome to this third episode here of uh, Tips and Tricks on the Pardo's Business YouTube channel. I'm Danny Pardo here to help you today on how to email your teacher or your form tutor or a prospective employer or a university lecturer. Um, so let's get stuck straight into it, shall we? Um, let's go over here. So I've got a few points here to help you out when it comes to how you should be emailing uh, your teachers to keep things professional, okay? We get a lot of emails as teachers and our time is short. And what I've noticed recently is that people are doing uh, amazing work in the class and outside the class, but the email that comes through paint a, a picture of you that isn't necessarily who you are. So the reason for these five things that we're doing here today is so that you uh, do not end up blowing your chances of employment or university or a teacher helping you um, by not following some simple, simple guidelines. So first of all, um, you probably might not be a big fan of this. It does take more time. It takes a bit of getting used to, but this is how we're gonna be doing emails from here on out, okay? So number one, subject line. That's gonna be up there, subject line. A brief summary of the message, no more than five words. Keep it short and sweet so we just know exactly what you are emailing about, okay? For example, um, the unit number, if you need help with something, you're gonna be late one day, an extension is required. Number two, um, a greeting. Start the email politely. Good morning, good afternoon, hello. I saw one the other day that said yes. Well, that's nice, but that's not a professional greeting, and that is getting deleted straight away by somebody who doesn't know you. So good morning, good afternoon, hello. Um, dear sirs, dear madam, dear Mr. Pardo, whoever you're emailing, keep it polite. Number three, the explanation. There it is. Get to the point with a brief explanation. I need help with something. Where are the resources for this? Um, can you please remind me of what we did in such and such a lesson? What advice would you give on this? All right, short and sweet um, with your explanation, get straight to the point. Speaking of getting straight to the point, let's keep rolling. Number four, closing the email. There it is, a polite and pleasant ending. All right. Um, kind regards thank you for your time uh your help is much appreciated um all the best um dear dear sirs at the start would mean it's yours faithfully at the end and dear mr pardo would mean it's yours sincerely at the end and i know that sounds a bit extreme for an email but that is what you need to be doing if you're going to be contacting employers or um uh, charities if you want to get some volunteer work or universities all right so what you got to do um and over there in the bottom corner then we've got your name all right i look the wrong way then because it's all flipped but your name all right your full name because if people don't know you, you want to show them that you can at least write your full name, you leave it so that they know exactly who emailed you, but it wasn't an ID number or something like that. So we're keeping it um, five things that you need to do with your email, all right? A subject line that's simple, a greeting that's polite, an explanation which gets straight to the point because people don't have time to read loads of emails, and a uh, closing section, um, which sums it up and leaves it in a polite, nice tone with your name at the very end. And this is how we'll be doing emails from here on out. And this will then prepare you for when you get out of college or even while you're here and you're trying to contact um, local businesses for employment or apprenticeship opportunities or volunteering or anything you need. This will set you in good stead um, as, we, as you move forward with your education and then into the world of employment, apprenticeships, university afterwards. Okay, so I hope you found this useful. And uh, that's the end of Tips and Tricks Episode 3, how to email your teacher. Thank you for watching.